Hi, it is our last day of field work and camping. We did some work today, rested a little, and now we're at our last campsite at Firehall Campground where we've been before. And um, there's a little bit of a storm brewing. Um, it's going off and on. We're hoping it'll pass without any rain because we've had some bad experiences with rain before. This is why my hair is very crazy. But uh, let's check it out. Hopefully it'll just fly over us. In the distance, you can see my new tent. Stay in there. Hopefully stay on dry if it rains, but it looks like it's gonna pass. Oh, there was just something over there. Yeah, I think it's going away. The storms here are really weird because they're really fast. They start it's so dry so they don't stay anywhere for a really long period of time but um if you look around you can see a lot of formations we climbed on actually right over here we climbed up that one over there and we climbed up here that one pretty impressed with myself um okay i'll be back i'm just gonna check out my tent so we're inside of my tent um it's still really windy as you can probably tell. Ah! <laughs> um, <laughs> this is how I've been living for the past like 12 days. There's like sand everywhere. Um, but this is a new tent. I had a different tent at first and then literally got soaked with rain. Um, I had to buy a new tent and um, I'm really glad because this tent's really awesome. Um, take a look around. This is my humble home. I've got little pockets to keep things here. I hung my flashlight here just to give me some light. You know what I'm saying? Got my sleeping bag. I got my pad. Now this is very important to have. It is a, a like a kind of air mattressy thing that you can take with you and it um, makes the ground feel much better when you're sleeping on a hard rocky surface or like today very sandy surface. Um, got my clothes in the corner, I'll be putting that away. And I have a little sweeper so I can sweep up <laughs> the sand and stuff because it's been really desert-like so we get a lot of sand in here. Um, this has been my home now for almost two weeks. It's been great. Tomorrow we stay in a hotel which seems very luxurious and then on Sunday we fly back from Denver and I'm excited to get back to see everyone I've missed including my dog and my husband and my friends um, but I'm kind of sad because it's been really fun anyway more to come so we're packing up to go um, we're about to head back to Denver and then fly home tomorrow morning and uh, here's our campsite this is where my tent was it rained a little last night but if you look you can see my tent did the job I was not wet so we're packing up the vans. I've got a really big bag. It's not going to be fun carrying that around tomorrow. But um, I've done it before. I can do it again. So I'm just trying to take in the last of this awesome landscape before I head back to the big city. Today we're also going to stop at a couple other cool places just to get in the last of the West. Bye bye, buttes. We're driving through Colorado. That's Gayori. Hi. That's Gulet. He's our master driver. And um, it's pouring. And there's rocks on either side. And we think they're metamorphic, but we don't. I don't know. We're driving to Denver. And we're going to get on an airplane tomorrow and fly back to the big city. Yeah. Okay, well, good morning. Alas, it's our last day. We're getting ready to go to the airport. It's about 6.30 in the morning. We're here on the outskirts of Denver. We stayed at the Days Inn last night. Very cozy and luxurious. Um, though I did miss sleeping under the stars. And now, getting ready to leave. And I just gotta show you my bag, because it's the biggest bag in America, so. Let's go on a journey.
to the hotel. So we had some breakfast. This is my bag. It is so huge and heavy, but I managed to get everything in it. And I have my extra tent, so I have a lot of stuff, but I'm gonna do it to get back. So it's been amazing. I'm really sad to go, but I'm kinda glad to get back. Bye.